Hi and welcome back to the AQA GCSE History, Britain Health and the People Revision Series. This is episode 10 and we're looking at Edward Jenner. In the 1700s, smallpox was one of the deadliest diseases. In 1751, over 3,500 people died of smallpox in London alone. At the time, there was the only prevention of smallpox was inoculation. This was promoted in Britain by Lady Mary Wortley Montagu, who learned about it in Turkey. Inoculation involves making a cut in the patient's arm and soaking it with pus taken from a swelling of somebody else who already has a mild form of smallpox. Inoculation was successful in preventing disease, but it meant that patients had to experience smallpox before they could become immune. Some died as a result. Edward Jenner was born in 1749. He was a country doctor in Gloucestershire. He heard that milkmaids didn't get smallpox, but they did catch a much milder cowpox. Using careful scientific methods, Jenner investigated and discovered that it was true that people who had cowpox didn't get smallpox. In 1796, Jenner tested his theory. He injected a small boy named James Phipps with pus from sores from Sarah Nelms, a milkmaid with cowpox. Jenner then infected him with smallpox. James didn't catch the disease. Jenner published his findings in 1798. He coined the term vaccination from the Latin word for cow, vacca. Jenner faced some opposition towards his vaccine. Many people were worried about giving themselves a disease from cows. Some doctors who gave the older type of inoculation saw it as a threat towards their livelihood. One doctor, William Woodville, claimed Jenner's vaccinations worked little better than inoculation after several smallpox deaths occurred in his hospital. When vaccinations became compulsory in 1853, several groups were formed to campaign against it. They didn't like the idea of the government telling them what to do. But his discovery got approval from Parliament. In 1802, Parliament gave Jenner £10,000 to open a vaccination clinic. It gave Jenner a further £20,000 a few years later. In 1840, vaccination against smallpox was made free for infants, and in 1853, it was made compulsory. The vaccine was a success. It contributed to a big fall in the number of smallpox cases in Britain. So that's the end of episode 10 of the AQA GCSE History, Britain Health and the People Revision Series. Next episode, we'll be looking at the germ theory and fighting germs. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.